Hi, I'm Simon from The Red Ferret and before we start this video I want to ask you to subscribe to stay updated on our latest greatest content on the YouTube space. Let's get cracking with the video. Alright, so I have something pretty cool in front of me. This is inspired on a new series we're going to call YouTube Gear. It's not going to be in the title but now you know. So uh, this is gear for YouTube for when you want to make cool and nice and epic YouTube videos. This is a 60 centimeter slider from Manfrotto. If you've been into the camera world then you probably already know Manfrotto. They make very good tripods, they make very good sliders, very professional material but it's not cheap but it's good. So uh, it's worth the money I think. Let's check this slider out. So the slider can take up to 10 kilograms or 22 pounds and uh, it weighs around 2 kilograms. It's fully aluminium and steel body as well so that's uh, very professional. So we get some stuff in the box uh, as you can see we have a screw uh, probably to screw things or what is this called you know what it is. Um, and then we have the manual as well, so the instructions on uh, how you install the device. As you can see, uh, you have different, you have a 3.8 screw on the top. So you have two knobs, there's a carriage brake and a friction system which are used to uh, tighten or loosen the head of uh, the slider so uh, that's actually pretty nice and pretty durable material as well so there's a full explanation on how to calibrate and how to install in this and then you also have uh, some kind of general instructions and warranty guide which is always very nice so let's see it comes in a very nice carrying uh, sack or what is this called so that's actually pretty cool. Oh, okay, it's upside down. So let's change this up. Yeah, okay. Manfrotto, imagine more. And as you can see, this is a slider, a full aluminium body and steel on the sides and that and all that. So um, it's really sturdy. It's uh, it's really nice. And probably the first thing you can see is that there is no head on this slider. Maybe that's a bit of a negative thing for me. There could have been a small ball head, I don't know, or uh, some kind of small thing that's very cheap but where you can put your camera on so that also means that a regular DSLR for example you can't put a regular DSLR uh, on this uh, so because it's a 3.38 screw a regular DSLR has a 1.4 screw so yeah there are two, two screws so this is a tightening screw so if you want to lock it in position as you can see if you loosen it it won't be locked in position so let's loosen it a bit more well, um, it wasn't completely loose because this one was tighter and as you can see this one tightens it a little bit so you can still slide but it's not fully locked. So you can still slide but on a slower motion for example. You can't do that with this one once it's, it's in place. As you can see that's not that good. So uh, this is uh, for locking it and this one is for uh, tightening it or loosening it. Loosening it. Loosening it. <laughs> So as you can see it's very smooth and maybe for some people that's also important on the back you have the regular inputs for um, a tripod so the regular uh, input screw the 1 4th and the 3a over here and over here 3 8 not 3a and then on the top you have a leveling uh, indicator so if it's level or not um, so at first sight the material on this device is very 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 good it's professional it's um, it's as close to a professional uh, slider I think it's a professional slider in my opinion this um, as it gets so uh, I think it will give you some smooth imaging so let's put uh, the video head of the Manfrotto B3 live on this that's also a Manfrotto tripod I'm going to review in the future uh, so let's put let's put this on here so you can see what it actually looks like with a head on it Right, so as you can see, I've mounted the uh, B3 Alive uh, head on this uh, slider. And it's very easy to use. Uh, it's still rotatable. And you can put it up or down. Of course, as you can see, if you put a little bit too much uh, pressure on it, it will uh, bend a little bit, but okay. Um, if you put it on a tripod, it won't be an issue. So... 
let's see what the quality is because uh, that's very important how good uh, the sliding motion shots look Okay, let's try this again. They're very fluid. I'm going to use the arm of the head. As you can see, it's very easy with just the tip of my finger to slide this over here or over there. So let's give it a bit more friction. So it has a bit more friction now. You can maybe hear it a little bit as well. Right, um, the cool thing about this is if you put it on a very low friction, you're just able to use this via the, uh, wh wh what is that called again? Gravity, via the gravity. So let's use it like this. And that's a bit too fast. So uh, the cool thing is now I have the uh, head mounted, I can just uh, do motion while I'm sliding as you can see so that's actually pretty cool so uh, I'm going to slide from uh, right to left and I'm going to try to stay focused on uh, my camera that's over here so let's go and just put this in the middle it takes some practice uh, to get it perfectly right but as you can see this slider works very smoothly and um, so if I just do this for example as you can see you can get some very nice shots with this slider and um, it's very fluid it's not choppy some sliders are uh, pretty choppy they go like like this for example or like this so that's that's actually not that good but this slider um, you can see that this is just very good material, very well built, and it's just smooth, and you have the smooth motion, and it just looks nice. Um, of course, it's not cheap. It's, I think it's around $400 or a bit more. So, yeah, it's not cheap, but I think if you're someone who does professional shoots, or if you're someone who uh, yeah films for a living, I don't know, and you film with a DSLR for example and you want to have some good shots well you can't go wrong with a good slider in your camera collection because who knows maybe you'll need that uh, how, does it, how is it called the slide shot or the pan shot no the pan shot is like this but um, if you need the slide shot for a certain shoot for example for people walking and they're walking past you while uh, you do the sliding motion well, uh, then this is very good this is a as close to a professional um, thousand dollar slider as it gets for four hundred dollars this is a very 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 good slider and i would definitely recommend it if you're looking for one or if you want to step up your game or if you want to uh, get an upgrade from your previous slider for example the shark slider i think is around one hundred dollars or a bit less and that's a good slider as well but not as professional as this one it's also very sturdy and it won't uh, break very easily so um, that's actually pretty nice all right, I would say if you have any questions regarding this Manfrotto 60cm uh, slider or other sliders because they have them in different uh, ranges, let them know and I'll be very glad to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos. And I hope I'll see you. Yes, you is watching this behind your phone or behind your computer screen. I don't know. In our next video. Bye-bye.